Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I'm back with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Ninja Turtles. This is based off of the movie, guys. And we're going to be taking a look at Wrath in Disguise, which is really cool. If you guys remember the old vintage figures, we did get some uh, Ninja Turtle figures that were in disguise just like this. But I believe it was Donatello or Leonardo. I don't know. I had the figure as a kid. But um, you see Raph right there, and it does read in disguise. He's got a few accessories. And the packaging is exactly the same as all the other figures that I have reviewed. Turn this around, and uh, here's an image of all the other figures from the series. Same packaging as the other figures. Right up there is a little read-up. If you guys want to read that, feel free and pause and do just that. So that's packaging. And the back of this figure, never knew this figure even existed until I saw it at Walmart. Let's open this guy up and see uh, how cool he really is. And here he is, guys, a quick little 360 look at Wrath in Disguise. It's a pretty nice looking figure, to be honest with you. Um, the accessories that sit on his head like the hat and the little, I'm guessing that's a scarf, doesn't really fit on too well. But, um, you know, it does a trick. You know, whatever. It's still a cool figure. But that's a quick little 360 look. Let's take a closer look at Wrath in Disguise. The accessories that you do get on this guy, he does come with with his hat, which is right here. One side is kind of like a little longer than the other. It's just a regular looking hat, nothing too special about it. And it, but it doesn't sit too well on his head because of his because of the shell in the back, and you know how it, the coat kind of overlaps right here. And he comes with this like scarf that I'm guessing goes over his mouth because that's the only place you can really put it. it. Has this little like clip kind of thing here, where you can put on his I guess lower neck. And it covers his um, it covers his mouth. You really have to mess with the jacket a little bit to get this to get this to sit on right. But it you know I'm guessing it covers his lower mouth. You just put the shades right over his eyes right there, and it looks pretty cool. I saw an image of this from the movie too, um, a while back, and then the hat you just kind of rested on there. But that's pretty much it. That's basically all you get. You get the glasses right here, which are pretty cool. Nothing too special about them, and then you get the um, the scarf, of course got a little bit of detail on it the figure itself pan the camera here you get Raphael right here he's got kind of like a mean little like face going on there you got the bandana back here it might be the same exact turtle figure maybe not that we've gotten but probably not no it's a lot different um, you can see he's still got the, um, the little straps around the uh, the toes this is like a soft plastic which is a separate piece but he doesn't have anything on the bottom of there but it still looks pretty good and um, the arms, the jacket sculpted on, everything else isn't. And then you can see he's got a big old hump in the back right there, which is supposed to represent the shell, but it's not really hard at all. It's all plastic. And then uh, he's got like a slit opening in the back. You can see the legs there. Nothing's really painted underneath. The figure's all green. And then his hands, he's got like bandages or straps, I guess you want to call them, or wraps, whatever. To hide, obviously to basically hide his, his like, skin complexion because you don't want to see a big green dude walking by now and and as far as the articulation goes on this guy the head can rotate arms do go in and out forward and back the wrist rotates the legs do go in and out and forward and back he's got the same articulation as the other one like the bend in the knee the lower leg rotation and nothing in the foot but you can't really mess with it too much because of the um the coat but it still looks really cool. I actually really like this, and it's re it'll be really cool for like display purposes. But I really hope they do come out with all four versions of this figure. The wrists also do rotate. I don't know if I mentioned that. So that's the articulation. Guys, my uh, review on the Raphael in disguise from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, the new 2014 movie coming out very soon. I saw a leaked trailer, which is I think trailer number three, and it actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna give this movie a chance, uh, but. You know, it looks very, very nice. The toys, I know a lot of people don't really like them. I actually really like the figures. I think they look cool. And Playmates has been doing really good with the turtle line. So we've been getting a lot of cool stuff. But that's my review on this guy. And uh, definitely check them out. Check your Walmarts, guys, because these are marked at eight eighty eight. dollars um, And that's it, guys. Stay tuned for my 11-inch uh, figure reviews. And make sure to follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Like my videos. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed. We'll see you later. Come on, come on, girl, why you front? Baby, show me some